In a world where Americans devour 50 billion hamburgers a year, it's time to elevate your burger experience with the unparalleled luxury of Wagyu beef. Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name is Forrest and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how to create the ultimate Wagyu cheeseburger. Wagyu beef is known for its intense marbling and extreme tenderness that will really just elevate your burger to that next level. Let's get right into it. So as I've mentioned, we're gonna be using one pound of Wagyu beef, 7525. We're gonna be using one pound of grass-fed ground beef, 93.7. We'll also use one egg, one packet of ranch powder, and some Worcester, wor, 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 Worcestershire, however you say it, Worcester sauce. We're gonna mix all of our ingredients into a bowl, and then I like to shoot for a quarter pound patties, so since we're using two pounds of meat, we're gonna shoot for about eight patties overall. Tonight we'll be cooking our burgers on our pit boss, and to get that really even cooked throughout, we're gonna be using our cast iron flat top and just put that right over the sear plate that's wide open. After our grill is heated up and our cast iron looks nice and hot, we're gonna place the burgers equally spaced throughout on one side and let them cook until they've got a really good crust on the bottom. After they've cooked all the way on the bottom, we're gonna give them a flip and let them cook the rest of the way for about until we can kind of get that 130, 140 temp. Then we're going to take a piece of cheese and just put it on top and let that cheese melt. While those burgers are cooking, we'll start on our sides. Tonight we're going to be using sweet potato fries. For making sweet potato fries, we'll be using our air fryer. So you're going to take your sweet potatoes, chop them up into fry sized pieces, coat the bottom of your air fryer with duck fat is what I've been using lately. Then you're going to put the fries in, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and then coat the top with another layer of duck fat. I like to cook at 400 for about 10 minutes, then you give the fries a quick toss. Then afterwards, you're gonna do another 10 minutes at 400. You're gonna spray in between, and then you should have perfectly cooked sweet potato french fries. Now that the burgers are cooked and the fries are done, it's time to assemble the burger. It wouldn't be the ultimate cheeseburger without a secret sauce. So let's go ahead and whip that up real quick. We're gonna be using our truff mayo, some truff hot sauce, some jalapeno ketchup and some relish. Uh, you kind of just eyeball all of these, I did, and you kind of mix it together. It should make that nice orange sauce that you're used to seeing from your favorite restaurants. Now you can make it at home all by yourself. Now that we've got our sauce created, let's toast our buns. I'm gonna coat a cast iron with a bunch of oil so you can get all those nooks and crannies of the bun. Then you're gonna place the buns face down, top and bottom, because no one likes a soggy bun. Once our buns are toasted, uh, we will take them off, put it on our plate, then we're going to take a little bit of that secret sauce, put it on the bottom bun, and then we're going to take our burger with cheese, put that on there. Feel free to add any vegetables if you want. Not a big veggie guy, so there won't be any veggies for me. You're able to put your top bun on and enjoy. And there you have it. Showing you how to make the ultimate cheeseburger from the patty to the secret sauce of toasting your buns, the works. So if you've enjoyed this content from me, make sure to check out this video right here. It'll show you how to make the absolute best air fried chicken wings you've ever tasted. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.